Hi there folks, welcome back to another video. Seems like a long time since I put out another video for you folks. And um, some kind folks were wondering if I was okay. So I have been okay, just super busy. And I took two weeks off for Thanksgiving and I went to Yosemite with one of my best friends from Northern Ireland and also all kinds of other activities. So really, really cool. So in this video, I will confess, it was shot earlier during monsoon season, and I've been so busy with uh, working on my solar array, and we'll do a video on that later, that I never have gotten to uh, put up a video on um, the completion of my rainwater harvesting system. So let's do that today. So in order to determine how many pieces of Schedule 40 PVC pipe I would need, I first needed to fit everything together without any PVC primer and glue. This is called dry fitting. It did allow me to see how much pipe I needed, but leaks so bad it didn't work as far as spilling water in the tank. So next I tried duct taping all of the joints. The pipe still leaked and that didn't work either. So not to be deterred, I taped the pipe even more. Although I don't have footage of the event, it actually did allow water to trickle into the tank. This gave me the confidence to roll up my sleeves and commit to finally gluing everything together. So first we're going to take the elbow and put it on this section here of the downspout. And I got my handy little table here. Center blocks, good for so many things. Well first what I want to do is just dry fit this to see where on the lettering this piece goes. So then again, it's always interesting to get them off. I think the most harmless way is this way. There we go. twisting her and I think that looks pretty good one thing I noticed though the uh, dry fit only allowed it to go up to the word in but when you actually put it on it came on quite a bit further so the lesson for me is um, put the purple primer up maybe a little more so now uh, we'll let that just set for a bit. So once in place, the idea is to give the pipe a bit of a twist and that allows the glue to set up properly and create a good solid fitting. Hey guys, check this out. I'm feeling kind of like Steve Irwin here. I'm so excited. Um, this is a beautiful desert king snake. And he's just basking on top of the dirt pile. Oh, I think he's moving off. I better jump behind the camera and film him. Anyway, I love these things. They eat rattlesnakes. He's beautiful. The very first piece of PVC I glued, I put on way too much purple primer. And after putting a few together, I got into the rhythm of it, I think. And I did a much neater job. I was pretty stoked that without any previous experience, I was now gluing pipe together. Not being professional, I was much slower at it and much more methodical. And confession time. One time not concentrating, I grabbed for the glue first and put it on before the purple primer. So I developed a mantra. Purple is royal, royalty always comes first, and then blue. So I let the glue dry and then put purple primer on over top of it, and then more glue, 
push the joint together and it seems solid as all the other joints and during the test showed no sign of leaking. The very last piece of 10 foot PVC needed to be cut to fit the length of the trench. So for cutting PVC, a handsaw is not the best tool, but I'm going to make it work today. Also, I did note in your comments, you said that an electric sander was overkill. So I hand sanded the burrs off the cuts so that they wouldn't create a problem when I glued the pipe. Since this is a wet system, there will be water in the pipe all the time. And occasionally it can get a little stagnant and gunky and needs to be cleaned out. So I'm creating a Y-shaped clean-out right at the stack here where the water spills into the tank. So this little pit is where the water from the clean-out will spill into. It's dug a little deeper than the level of the pipe, so the water can just seep into the dry dirt and not create a backwash into the pipe. So you can see some nice big angry clouds there forming. So it's going to rain pretty heavy probably pretty soon, but I think I can get this all Done, I only have one more piece to put in, and I don't know what to call that, the stack. It's got to be turned the right way. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, thirty, and five for good measure. One, two, three, four, five. So these fantastic water tanks from Oasis Water Harvesting come with a screened grate to keep all the crud from falling into the tank, and also a centerpiece that screws out and allows me to fit my pipe right into the cap. So at first I decided to put the black rubber Fernco joiner in the middle of this horizontal section of the stack. But after thinking about it, I didn't think it was that sturdy. So I changed it up and decided to put it in the vertical section of the stack. Oh wow, there's water in that pipe. Okay. All right, I was kind of afraid that would happen. I'd dry, I'd dry fit that on there and it would be really hard to get off. So I have to pop it off with a bit of force. And that goes in pretty nicely, I would say. For someone who doesn't know anything about plumbing, it's kind of fun to learn. And this is going to get connected here. I'll have to make sure it's done at the exact right angle. Now a bit of spray paint to match the color of the tank. Okay, do we dare try it on for size? Let's give it a go. To this day, I don't know 
where my head was at, assembling this incorrectly twice. But there's a really good thing that came out of this. Probably the most embarrassing thing I've done here. Mm, no, there's probably other things. Like to get all this done before the sun sets. And two total fails. So, third one's a charm. I learned that with a black marker, I could letter each section to identify it before gluing it. This will be a fantastic way to make sure there's no screw ups when I do super serious work like water pipes for my cabin. Nice, just like a glove. So now the plan guys is I'm going to um, <laughs> uh, dig underneath every one of these joints of this PVC and I'm just going to um, put a paper napkin under there, under each one, and then leave it for, oh, you know, a couple hours. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to rain for the next hour or so, although you never know here. It can happen pretty fast. And that way, before I end up burying these big lengths of pipe, I can feel confident that um, there's no leaks in uh, my uh, job of gluing them together. So, uh, as you can see, these are all beautifully bone dry, meaning there's no leaks in the PVC Schedule 40 pipe that I glue together. Well, we're getting a rainstorm, that's for sure. <laughs> the cool thing is, uh, check this out. It's not put in place with clamps properly, but the downspout's in place. And rain ran through, and of course filled the trench too. Um, not from leaks from the pipe, from what I can tell, but um, just because there's so much of it, and it came down so quick. And I did get rain in the tank, maybe not very much, and uh, once I fine-tune things, um, I think that this is going to work. So I definitely agree with your comments that this sad downspout wouldn't work well. So I took it down. So what I decided here, folks, with this 3-inch Schedule 40 downspout was to create a break in it. And this here is just a piece that comes right out. And the reason I've done that so that I can take a hose and literally <laughs> put it down in here, turn it on, and that will flush this whole system out because at the other end is a clean out and I can unscrew that and the water will again flow all the way down in here all the way 45 feet down into the trench here and then out the clean out pipe. These rubber sections are 3 inch Fernco. They're even used for sewers and other applications so once they're tightened up they're pretty waterproof and don't allow leaks. Can you hear that amazing sound? Rain. 
I just can't resist. I gotta go check on my rainwater harvesting setup, see if there's anything falling into the tank. I'm gonna get soaked, who cares? Let's do it. Check this out guys, the rain's eased off, but it's still accumulated into the, uh, into the system and is dumping it into the tank. Listen to that sound. It works, how cool. <laughs> Something about the sound of rain dumping into this tank, um, me wondering whether it would really even end up working after all is just absolutely fantastic. And when you purchase your water, like I've been doing, uh, getting free water is really cool. Well, today, folks, before I finish uh, backfilling or filling this uh, trench back up with dirt, um, I'm going to put down some caution tape. Okay, time for more senior power. More shoveling to do. So one of the questions I know I would have if I was you and thinking about doing something similar is um, how much water did you gather into that tank? And this monsoon season was fantastic. And I can only tell you that I purchased water from Kerfman Water Supply, where I get mine, um, I believe the very first of June. And to date, I checked the tank yesterday. There is a third of a tank of water still in that little 1200 gallon tank. So you can imagine this has been better than anything I expected. I'm very, very conservative with water. Um, my plants are primarily dry weather plants. I don't do much watering of them. So the water is primarily just for drinking. And I use a Berkey water filter system to make that uh, drinkable. And also, things like washing dishes and uh, showers that are kept brief. So I'm absolutely delighted with this rainwater harvesting system. And if you have any questions about it, um, please let me know. So as always, folks, thank you very much for watching my videos. I love having you here. And um, of course, as always, I'm going to be heading right to the comments as soon as this is uploaded, because I love seeing what you guys post. And a lot of the comments are really helpful. And to those who sent me gifts, I'm going to be doing an upcoming video uh, just um, showing folks what was given to me. So I haven't forgotten to thank you. Thanks so much for watching, folks, and there's lots more coming. Um, upcoming is my solar setup. Oh, that thing rocks, I'll just tell you that. And you might want to subscribe in order to see that and get some ideas about your own solar. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.